Yo, so guys, and welcome back to a brand new HMS Minis video. Today, we're going to talk about Jack Miller back to back wins. He's done it again. Obviously, one in Jerez and now the Le Mans Grand Prix. A very tricky uh, Grand Prix uh, for all the riders out there in Le Mans. Obviously, started off from nice and dry. Uh, well, a couple of damp patches maybe here and there, but uh, then the rain came down. Also, we had the flag to flag situation, and uh, Jack Miller himself had a pretty chaotic race, uh, you could say. Obviously, when the before the flag to flag situation, uh, we obviously saw him, you know, run off the track uh, quite wide, mowed across his way back onto the track. Luckily for him, uh, he didn't tip over or anything, so um, you know, good control uh, from Jack Miller there. And obviously, when he came into the pits. And uh, they've done the bike switch and all that. He sped into pit lane. Both Ducatis did, um, which was a bit, uh, bit crazy. You know, we don't, don't really usually see something like that. Uh, well, I mean, obviously, um, obviously not. I mean, we don't even see flag to flag. I mean, it was the first flag to flag race in four years. I think they were saying. So, um, you know, but it's rare that we see or hear about riders speeding into pit lane. Uh, it doesn't usually happen. But um, unfortunately for the Ducati riders. Uh, they both done that on the Le Mans Grand Prix and obviously both got long lap penalties, um, you know, which was a bit of uh, of an unfortunate thing for them. But, uh, that, you know, that didn't stop Jack Miller. Obviously, we saw him, you know, he had a, an enormous pace <laughs> over Fabio Cartararo. I mean, you know, we know Cartararo is an, you know, a rain specialist, uh, I guess you could say, maybe compared to Jack Miller. Obviously, he always goes pretty well in these tricky mixed conditions. You know, similar to like Mark Marquez, who obviously unfortunately crashed out twice uh, in the Grand Prix. But, um, you know, Jack Miller, he, he had enormous pace. You know, even with those two long lap penalties, you know, because he was so fast, you know, throughout the rest of the lap, it, it just didn't really affect him at all. And uh, he overtook Carter with these. Uh, without any problems, honestly, and, uh, and just pulled away and controlled the gap, and um, it was a very, very good win, and, you know, obviously, considering he was mowed crossing off the track and two long lap penalties, and, you know, obviously, all the tricky conditions and all that, you know, obviously, to still, you know, maintain focus and, uh, and you know, chase down the, the race leader and uh, overtake him with ease, honestly, I mean, it didn't look too tricky, and, um, you know, just pull away uh, by a nice margin, obviously we did see Joan Zarco come and close that gap a little bit, you know, towards the end of the Grand Prix, lapping very quick uh, on board of the Pramat Ducati. Uh, so, you know, good weekend once again for Ducati, you know, another P1, P2, just like Careth, you know, obviously this time uh, one is in the Pramat colour, but uh, it's still pretty much the same bike, essentially, you know, it's a factory Ducati just in different colours. So, um, you know, Ducati, they, they have definitely brought a, a good package this season you know it's worked well on the dry in you know tracks with twisty corners like Careth it goes well in the wet you know obviously dominates on tracks with long straights and uh, that's what we're going to be getting for these upcoming Grand Prix obviously like Catalonia and Mugello uh, I think are the ones coming up next and um, we'll see those Ducatis are going to be absolutely flying and uh, <laughs> you know obviously with the whole shot system they're going to be into turn one before the rest of the guys even get to the breaking point so um it's definitely going to be a couple crazy Grand Prix coming up for Ducati and obviously great opportunities for Jack Miller to uh, maybe go on a little bit of a win streak here you know maybe maybe get a hat trick of wins or maybe even more who knows obviously he's got great competition you know within the Ducati family and the MotoGP grid but um it's definitely going to be interesting to see what happens and, uh, you know, obviously, Jack Miller, hopefully, you know, he can maintain this form. Obviously, he's one in the dry, one in the wet. Uh, obviously, tricky start to the season. But, you know, these two back-to-back -back wins have obviously, you know, kind of leaped him up the order a little bit and uh, closed that gap down to Fabio Cartararo and uh, get himself well in the fight again. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see, obviously, uh, how he goes in these future Grand Prix. You know, like I said, they're definitely tracks which will suit the Ducati uh, to perfection you could say and uh, it's going to be interesting to see which one of the riders you know is the one that prevails uh, throughout this uh, season in that Ducati family make sure you down in the comments what are your thoughts on Jack Miller you know he's Le Mans Grand Prix you know I thought he'd done really well you know maintained concentration didn't let those little mistakes and the long lap penalty or anything like that get to his head and uh, he just stayed calm pulled back that gap quite nicely and uh, took a win uh, very convincingly away from Fabio Cartararo, unfortunately, on home soil. But, um, yeah, make sure you're down in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe for more content as always. And I'll see you with some brand new videos very soon.